ki khubor ka bate se tv lawan rashi pe da ka frank yamaha visit yamaha showroom for big discount and very low down payments only this august don't miss out contact 9612951198 or 9612951298 ka rangda jet united football club ha ka santre unai lor arja upsao kalai soi ha scholar te parlok ha ka jingle ka football bat ka bengaluru football club ha ka wala sakhilang da ki khana ile ka bat ki kimi ki pa ha ka jingalang ka long ha ka slam a jing ka football ka badan ha ka snong pun thorba ka jing soi ha scholar ka long ha pedeng uba eugene san lingdo na ka liang jong ka rang rajit united football club bat udaren kaldira u bala mikmat ya ka bengaluru fc da ka jing don lang jong ba ai bor lang thong ji bat ka kun hon brok we kat kum ka ni ka jing soi ha scholar ha ki ni ki lai snam kin don ki kat tu kat ni ki kam ki ba ki ni ki arli ki club ile kai football ken ya trailang bat ban kersian iwe iwe pat ka benta ka ben kong e ha ka soskular ka long ba ki khana ret ki badan sap ile kai football la ki ki shinrang ni ki kin thai kin yo e ka kabuk ser ban sha hi kai pin tebet shu shu ile de ha ka slam i ji hi kai jong ka bengaluru fc bat ka rang dajit united fc ru ka kloi wat ban plat ye ki samlai le kai la raja ba ulat tebet bha ba un let ye le kai na ka bengaluru fc มีอสังยังนี่ก็ปอสคูลนรกมาสตันกะเดกะจิงทมูกะจงมีปังอีกว่ากิคณะจงมีบะกินมีนั่นเนาะเอจลากะจงมีบะกินมีลากาชบาว
and provide a pathway. Like Andrew said, not only about the players, but the coaches as well. The technical staff of the team. So what we felt is BFC, I felt, I feel, when we were talking about which club do we collaborate with, which club do we look up to, for me it was instant, uh, Bangalore Football Club, I've been a player there and I see and I've seen the commitment of the club, the club is very uh, structured, focused on youth, the best club I would say with regards to uh, youth program, so we felt that it was important for us to tie up with a club that has a vision for football in India. And with regards to our coaching as well. So like Andrew said, our coaches, we do not have the capacity as yet. Like we have a shortage when it comes to qualified coaches in Meghalaya. For example, the knowledge that BFC has in the technical aspect can benefit us as a club, will benefit our coaches. So the, the gap between <coughs> Meghalaya and the world probably can be negligible because we get first-hand information on the different methods of training, the updated methods of training, or what needs to be done, not only through training, when it comes to sport, uh, strength conditioning, physiotherapy, sports science, and all that aspect. So the need for us to grow, the tie-up was essential. So now I, uh, for a year or so, we have been excited about the journey towards this day and today I can finally say that from within the team we are very very happy, we are very excited for the coming days ahead and eventually the future looks bright for the football loving people of the state and especially the talented football players of the state, obviously there is a greater pathway for them to achieve their dreams. What we also we have in mind is how we can get our teams from Bangalore to come here and participate playing games against you all and versus other teams in the locality and vice versa. We want the teams from here also to come to Bangalore and experience what it's like to play a tournament there. So we are looking at that and in terms of some of the boys, like I mentioned, we've got a residential setup in, in Bangalore which is again a fully paid scholarship. We started at under 13s because we, we've got some 12, 13 year olds. We feel like any any age younger, we've had a few 10, 11 year olds joining but we feel it's too young. When they're separated from the parents, we, we find a lot of kids uh, getting homesick. So we try to keep the age from 12 years of age. So a lot of kids, our aim is if tomorrow there's a very talented boy here and he's good enough to be in, in our residential academy through our conversations with with Eugene, with Ibor, with the entire team, we can always figure out if he's good enough. Yeah. We're more than happy for him to have him at our residential setup. And our residential setup is a, a beautiful 42 acre campus where not just our football, footballers are there, but we've got, it's a it's a high performance facility. So even our Olympians, for example, your Neeraj Chopra, who's competing in the Olympics, Sakshi Malik, these are the, the athletes that are training at that center. And we've got coaches from around the world, uh, you know, education is there, it, it's basically a massive sports bubble. So the idea is, how can these kids get into the BFC system and as soon as possible. This conversation has been in the works for close to a year. We've had multiple discussions, multiple Zoom calls as to how we can get this over the line and what's the right way forward. Uh, and for us also as a club, in terms of doing a partnership, we always want to make sure we're doing it with the right people. Uh, you know, Eugene has played at the highest level, uh, Ibor has played at the highest level and sometimes when I look at these young boys, I want you guys also to aspire to get at that level, if not even better. Your dream, your aim should be that you have to be representing Randijed and hopefully with the clear pathway that we have, also wearing the BFC jersey and then representing the national team. You know, if these boys can do it, so can you. And to the parents as well present here, I speak to a lot of parents uh, even in Bangalore. Uh, you know, every single time the question is, you know, is my kid good enough? Will he make it? 
I think all you need to do as well from the parents' perspective is to support your kids. There are times, you know, probably they're not playing enough games or they're upset. But give it time. It's a process. These things take time. Do not get frustrated that, you know, the kids are sometimes 13, 14, 15, or even 17 and 18. All it takes is a good six months and you can see a completely different player after that. For us, it's very important to, to share that knowledge with RUFC because we know also Rangdijet have uh, the kind of same sort of vision and enthusiasm that we have at BFC as well. Um, we have the infrastructure, but we also see that they've got, uh, you know, what it takes in terms of uh, the added motivation that's required. And while we always talk about player pathways, I think another aspect is, is coach development, which is very important for us as well. Because your players will only be as good as the coaches can get them to be at that level. And I know in, you know, coaches like Ibor and, and the other staff that is also mentioned here, you're in good hands. And at BFC, we'll make sure we have multiple coach workshops. Uh, we have a head of youth who will be visiting as well. And hopefully we can do that session very soon. But rest assured, this partnership is a long-term one where we want to see the kids grow, the coaches grow. And, uh, you know, I want to thank Eugene, Andrew, Ibo, everybody present here, the entire team actually who've, who've made sure this happens. And everybody sitting back home in Bangalore also are as excited as you guys sitting here. And we'll make sure this is a very uh, fruitful partnership. Thank you.